Hey guys, so I know this is like a week late, but I've been really busy, um, and yeah, I haven't been able to film, but finally I have the chance to film, and I'm so excited because today I'm going to show you what I got at IMAX. Look how big this bag is. Let's just say that IMAX was so much fun. It was crazy. Like, so many people. Um, I got there. The show started at 10. And I got there at like 9.30. And waited in the line for about 45 minutes. It was so long. It wrapped around like the entire um, exhibition building. But I got to meet some great people and um I met this girl in line and then we just spent the entire day together so it was really fun meeting someone um and making a new friend but um yeah I met some of my favorite YouTubers and I'll definitely put in the pictures afterwards but it was overall like a really fun experience I actually wish that I could have gone the second day, but I only went on Saturday because I had to work out on Sunday. But, um, so yeah, it was awesome. And yeah, I got some great stuff. And I'm going to show you now. So, <clears throat> let's see. The first booth I went to was. Inglot. Um, I just have like all of my stuff that I got that day in this Inglot bag. But um, I got a 10 pan palette using the Freedom system. And it comes like that. And it was so much fun picking out all the shades because it first, not only was it like absolutely crazy busy and full but just like everyone had their own little like magnetic trays and then they would just take the eyeshadow pans and like place them on and then you know create their little palette um but everyone you know was like oh my god what's what color do you have and like what color do you have and um I don't know it's just really fun um but these are the colors I got I just thought that they were really neutral and just colors that I would love to wear on a regular basis and just colors that complement my eye color so gosh it's like so hard once you put them in the um this pan because they all come in little separate like um each eyeshadow comes in one of these things and then you just assemble them all together so, um, gosh, I will try and, um, get them all and put the, the names in the description bar, but let's just, I can swatch them right now. This is a, um, a navy blue, but these shadows are absolutely amazing amazing. The best shadows I've ever tried in my entire life. And, um, yeah, they're just so, so amazing. They're really creamy and really, really soft and super, super pigmented. So, I got a navy blue. I got a white. I got this gorgeous purpley taupey with sparkles in it. That's, like, my favorite color out of all of them. Then I got this, um, somewhat taupey, just mid-tone brown color that's pearly and almost metallic. And then I got a dark matte brown. Um, let's see. And then on the bottom row, these are them on my arm. 
shoot, that's a lot harder than, okay, I got it. Um, the second row, I got this, like, light pink color. You see that? It just doesn't, it's not coming up well on camera. Then I got this really pretty bronze metallic color. And then this light yellow gold color that's gorgeous. And then a matte light taupey color. And then this silvery grayish taupe color with shimmer. So it's like a metallic. So that's my Inglot palette. Inglot was 30% off. So this, um, this palette only came out to be like $38, I think, which I think is an amazing deal for such a great value. Yeah, you can't really see, but, um, yeah, these are just amazing shadows. I want to go, they have a store in Fashion Island in Newport Beach, so I really want to go to that and get more shadows because this is my favorite purchase of the entire, entire day. But there was a negative about this. I, you know, paid for it. I put it all together and they're like, come back in two hours to pick it up. And so I came back in like four hours to pick it up and they didn't have it. They were like, we lost it. We don't have your order, so I had to make it all over again, which was so frustrating because I remembered kind of, but I forgot some of them, and I'm like, this really is annoying. And then, um, because the one that I put together in the morning was absolutely perfect, and then they had run out of some of them. And I just thought it was very unfair. But they were very cooperative and nice. And they gave me a free um, pet mother tote bag with Inglot on it. Which was, I thought, really nice. Um, then I went to Crown Brush. And I got 13 brushes for only $58. Which I thought was a great value. Because that's only like four something a brush. Um, some of them I gave my friends but these are the ones I got this blush brush which is nice and small and it's the C141 small chisel brush I love doing that and then I got this giant jumbo shadow brush brush that's C407 and it's great for highlighting and like blending um, and then this pencil brush which is nice and fluffy um, this is not the name on it. And then, oh, I got this as a free gift from Sigma because Sigma wasn't selling anything, but they just had all their stuff there. And then I got, um, the C410 Flat Concealer Brush, but I used it for, like, eyeliner and eyeshadow on the bottom lash line and then on the top. Um, I got this lip brush that looks like a bullet. Um, I got this really nice chubby shadow brush that's C417. And it's nice and fluffy and you can really pack on a lot of color. And then I got this tiny um, flat shader brush and it's called the Small Chisel Flush. Fluff. But it's not very fluffy. I don't know. I like it for packing on color. And then it's called C210. It's really, really long. And then lastly, I got this fluffy crease brush. That's the C412 Deluxe Pointed Crease. And it's really, really soft. Um, next, I got the um, a Kevin Kwan eyelash curler. Pretty much everything was 50% off Kevin Aquan, which was awesome. And he makes 
great stuff, but it's pretty expensive, so it was nice. I got this eyelash curler for only $10, and it's originally uh, $20, which I've never spent on an eyelash curler, but $10 is good. And it's a great eyelash curler. And then I got his famous, very well-known eyebrow pencil, and it's known as the thinnest pencil, eyebrow pencil on the market and therefore you can make it look really natural and I got the one in blonde and then it has this perfect little um, brush spoolie thing on the end so yeah I love this and this was only ten dollars too and it's originally twenty which is outrageous for a eyebrow pencil um, let's see, some stuff I got at NYX, um, I got this NYX blush in taupe, they were already sold out at like, in like more than half the blushes, and it was only like 10.30, so this is what I would use for contouring because I'm so pale, and so this is like the perfect color, and so that's in taupe. And most of the stuff at NYX is like half off, 40% off, something like that. And then I got this gorgeous glitter liner. It's like really nice and gold and it's called French Champagne. And it's super sparkly and pretty. And I got a couple of Jumbo Shadow Pencils. I got a lavender one because the one I had was like waxy and it just wasn't working. So I love the lavender one. And then the strawberry milk because I've been wanting it, but they never have it at Ulta. And they were much cheaper there. So those are really pretty. Um, and then I got two pigments, which are really pretty. This one is sand, and it's just a really light, pearly pink. And then this is in mocha which is pretty much just a light mocha, light brown color. So those are really pretty, I love them. And I got this nude gloss because it's like um, Smashbox, what is it, O gloss. And it comes out clear, but then, I don't know, it just makes your lips really pink and like the perfect pink color and I love it. Um, what else from this? Oh, I got these two, um, liquid liners that are the Studio Liquid Liners in Extreme Gold and Extreme Coffee. So these I love. I love putting this one on the inner corner. And just on my lower lash line and then this and my upper lash line. They're just great colors and they're very pigmented for a liquid liner. Um, and then lastly from NYX I got uh, this eyebrow shaper. And it's just like a wax pencil. And it's great for keeping your eyebrows in place. Um... Then I went to OCC because obsessive compulsive cosmetics because why else lip tars? I've been waiting to get these lip tars for I don't even know an entire year since I first heard about them and I was so excited. I wish I got anime because it looked so good on um one of the girls working in the booth was wearing it, and it just looks so good. But I got Divine, which is this pinky coral color. And I got Cha Cha, which is this light orange peachy color. And then I got Reverb, which is this oh, awesome red color that looks great. It's got like an orange undertone to it. And 
I love bullet cars. I'm so obsessed with them. And I know you've heard this countless times, but when people say a little bit goes a long way, they really do mean it. Literally squirt like the tiniest bit and then you put it on a lip brush and it just goes all over your lips and it's super opaque and they're amazing and they stain and they just last a really long time. I put this on just for fun before I went to bed one night and I woke up and it was still completely on. So that was crazy. Um then I went to eye candy, which was another thing that I was really excited to get because I heard so much about it. And basically what it is, is you take, it's just like eye glitter, and what you do is you get their liquid sugar, which is just like a base, just like a liquidy base, and then you get your little brush. Like a little pencil brush. Except for it's like about to break. And then you get your glitters. Sorry, I have an eyelash. I got I got it done at the show and she did the um navy glitter. So I got this semi sweet sugar. Which is just an awesome, really sparkly, dark blue color. And then I got a bronze, which is called Ginger Snap. And then I got Sugar Cane, which is a really pretty gold color. And these are just so much fun. You just make like liner, and you just have like intense glitter liner. And I wore it yesterday for Fourth of July and I loved it and so you just wet the brush completely with that liquid sugar and then you just dip it into the glitter and then what they do is they blow dried my eye and obviously with it closed and I did that yesterday and it was perfect so these three glitters and the liquid sugar and the brush it was only $30 which I thought was a great deal and then six of them were 50 um, then another company I heard a lot about this past year was Naked Cosmetics, and they do, they do these pigment stacks. Um, of, I think, yeah, six pigments. Um, unfortunately they don't stay stacked, which is really annoying but these are beautiful colors and I can see if I can find the website in the swatches um, somehow but I got the stack called Cabernet Blush and they're just these gorgeous colors there's like a pinky purple and then like a burgundy and a dark brown and then like a taupe and an ivory gold color so that was Great, and I got it for $25, and they're originally, I don't even know, like 60 I think. And then I got, I went to Mayron and got a mixing medium because I got so many pigments, and I just thought that it was necessary because I hadn't had one, and I didn't think water was cutting it. And then I have the eye, for eye shadow sealant, sealer from LA Splash, but I wanted the eyeliner sealer um and I use this one with one of it's just like that the eyeshadow sealer is amazing and so is this like so great um I think this is like six dollars you can get it at a Ulta um but yeah they really work I would definitely recommend checking them out and then Skila was 40% off, and I don't know why I got more stuff, I, why I didn't get more stuff, but I got a convertible color, which I love, and it's in the color fuchsia, and it brings the perfect, 
blush to your cheeks and it's a great lip color and I just love the creamy texture it's not sticky it's a great cream blush and a great lip cream um, so yeah great deal on this because I think steel is semi expensive like um, I don't think I would spend $18 on an eyeshadow but um, I should have gotten kitten because it would have been so much cheaper but I've wanted one of these for a really long time um, then I went to Sugar Pill and I got these two pigments I got Lumi, which is an awesome white frosty color, but it has a blue reflex and a duochrome in it. So let's see if I can show you. It's so pretty. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, kind of. Anyway, it's such a pretty color. I can't wait to this more. And then this color, which is called Tiara, and it's a really pretty silvery um, color, and when you mix it with a mixing medium, it looks like foil on your eyes. So it's just an intense metallic silver, which I love. So pretty. And I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, definitely got a lot of stuff, but I think I got my money's worth, and it was just such a fun day. And I can't, I already can't wait for next year. I'm just so excited because it's really, really, really fun there. Um, and I'm for sure going to go for both days. And hopefully, some of you can um, go next year too because I don't know, there's tons of people that I still want to meet. Um, but I met Let, um, Let76. And I'll put her um, name down below. But she was so sweet. And then her video, and she tweeted my channel, which I thought was so unnecessary. She didn't have to do that. But it really, really, really made me happy. And I really appreciate that. And I saw her at IMAX. And I was absolutely blown away by how beautiful she was. Like, I was like, um... I always thought she was gorgeous in her videos, but wow, in person, like, she's beautiful, like, so gorgeous, and so we got to talk for a little bit, and she was really, really sweet, um, and who else did I, I met, I met Tiffany D, and I was really excited about that, she was super sweet and so tall, um, and then I met Petra Moon, he was in drag, which was really awesome, because he looked so cool. And then I met Miss Femorazzi, um, Ingrid, and Amory, uh, Allison, and I think that's it, but I saw tons of people, and it was just a really, really fun day. So I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you guys soon.